Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and this is my review for another classic movie review for you guys. Um, this time, reviewing to you the 1991, um, sort of just like period drama classic, um, Barton Fink. I I'll say this movie is sort of like a dramedy. Now, the reason I watched this movie was because I watched Fargo, and now it's directed by the Coen brothers, and I wanted to see the other stuff that they did, and I checked out this movie. I was planning on not watching it, but my friend um, recommended it to me, so I watched it. And overall, what did I think of Barton Fink? I really enjoy this movie. It is really confusing at the end. However, this movie left me just going like, what? Like, I did not understand the end of this movie, but overall, I did enjoy this movie. I like the plot of this movie, and overall, I did enjoy it, but let's just get to it. So basically, this movie is about um, this man, Barton Fink. He is a, a very successful playwright in New York City. It takes place in 1941, by the way. Um, he is a very young um, playwright. He has written a... He's very successful, written a very successful play... And, um, you know, basically he is hired to actually write scripts for a film studio in Hollywood, um, basically. You know, this guy really wants him to write it. However, he kind of has writer's block, and he sort of doesn't really know what sort of, um, movie to write. However, in the second half of the movie, now that was like the first half, the second half of the movie, it becomes something like all to, the, it, the movie changes completely, and I don't want to talk about it because I'll, I'll, I'll get to spoiler territory if I do that, but that's pretty much what Barton Fink is about. Um, it's about a guy who basically is trying to write this movie. And uh, that's basically what the movie's about, and overall, I think the plot is very, very good. I really like the plot of the movie, especially because it has to do with Broadway and things like that. You know, that's my forte. But let's first get to the acting of this movie. The acting all across the board was very, very good. I really enjoyed the acting in this movie. John Turturro, as Barton Fink, is very, very good. I really felt like this guy... I don't know what else he's done. John Turturro, I don't know what else he has really done. I'm sure he's done other stuff. He did, um... Oh, Brother, Where Art Thou? The Big Lebowski, Quiz Show, Crossing, Do the Right Thing, Miller's Crossing, um... He has worked with uh, Adam Sandler and Spike Lee. I don't really know anything else he did, though, besides this movie. I don't think I've seen anything else he's done, have I? Let me see. Um, I've seen him in, tra in the Transformers movies, I know that. Um, but other than that, you know, this is, like, one of his most famous roles. He did a very good job as Barton Fink. Like, I really felt like he was Barton Fink. He really, um... You know, you felt for his character because you wanted him to succeed in, excuse me, you wanted him to succeed in writing this, um, this movie. You knew he had writer's block, but you really wanted him to succeed, and I really enjoy his character a lot. He was definitely very, very good. Um, however, my favorite, um, actor in this movie is probably John Goodman. He was amazing in his role, and there's a specific reason why, but I don't want to tell you guys or also get to spoilers, but he did an amazing job in this movie. Like, he was definitely the best in this movie. He did an awesome job, and he was just really, really great in his role. Uh, Michael Lerner as, uh, Jap Lipnick. Now, he's kind of the guy that Barton Fink is trying to write the movie for. Um, that, that's who he plays, the guy that he's trying to write the movie for. He's very confident in him. I like seeing, like, his confidence in him. I thought he was a fun character to watch. I like that he didn't really try to give up on him. I really enjoy his character a lot. He really got into his role, and I enjoyed his role a lot. Judy Davis is Audrey. Now, this is a small role, but a very important role. She did a very good job as well. I really cared for her character. You know, you know she was kind of like being uh, um, abused by... Um, she, You know, she plays um, May May Hughes, played by John Mahoney. She plays his secretary, and um, she did a very good job. I liked the sort of relationship between her and Barton Fink. I thought she did a good job, and I cared for her character. She was definitely very good. And then John Mahoney as Mayhew was also very good. And the only other person I think I'll talk about is Steve Buscemi as Chet. Very small role, but it's Steve Buscemi, and he still does a fantastic job. He has, like, one scene of talking, but he still has a good job in the movie. Um, so, the directing to this movie. The directing is um, very good. Joe, um, This movie is directed by Joel Cohen and Ian Cohen, the Cohen brothers. 
Another great hit by them. I actually thought this movie was better than Fargo. I thought they did a better directing job than Fargo. Because this is a period piece, and you really feel like you're in the 1940s. You feel like, you know, you feel like you're in that period of time. You can see how popular Broadway shows were, how popular movies were at that time, and they still are popular now, but I'm saying that they were mo even more popular back then. They did a very good job of portraying that. They did a very good job of the acting. The sets were very good, and I really enjoyed their, um, the, their um, directing to the movie. The cinematography was very good as well, and the editing was good as well. Now, that's my main problem with this movie. This movie does have a couple problems with editing. At times, the movie moved a little bit slowly, like in the middle of the movie. I feel like it moved a little bit slowly, and it started to lose me. However, once they changed the movie, it really picked up, and that's when I really enjoyed it. Um, let's get to the, uh, the spoilers. If you guys have not seen Barton Fink, which I highly recommend you guys do, because it's a very good movie. Oh, but before I get to that, let me just say that, um... There were a couple, um, Oscar, um, nominations that this movie, I mean, Oscar nominations and Oscar awards that this movie, um, did get, um, uh, this, you know, Barton Fink, um, was nominated for three things, Best Actor in a Supporting Role, which was, you know, Michael Lerner, he did not win it, but Best Art Direction, Best Costume Designer, um, it, it was nominated for quite a lot of things, and I believe, um, John Turturro actually won Best Actor, the Coen Brothers won Best Director, of course, and, uh, so yeah, they actually, this movie did pretty successful, this movie was really successful for them. But now we're getting into spoilers, if you guys have not seen Barn Fink, um, which you definitely should, because it's a good movie, definitely don't watch such a review, because you'll be spoiled, because I'm going to spoil the movie for you guys. Alright, so as we know, in the movie, um, Audrey's killed in the movie, and when that happened, I was shocked, honestly. I did not expect that to happen. I knew that Netflix kind of spoiled the movie for me, because it said, um, he's involved with a murder mystery, and, like, I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know if that mean, like, he'd be, like, there was something that was going on before that he'd be haunted with. But when Audrey was killed, I was very surprised. Because that's when the movie com came much darker. And, um, I actually thought the movie got better after Audrey was killed. And then, you know, when John Goodman reacted the way he did, I knew something was up with his character. Because I'm like... Okay, that's a little too strong of a reaction. I knew something was up with his character. I didn't know what it was, but there was something up with his character. And then when it was revealed that he was a psychopath and he killed Audrey, I was just like, perfect. That makes so much sense. And I understood that completely. So definitely, um, I understood what he, you know, that definitely. And that whole scene where he, like, burned down the hotel, that's why he gave, that's why his performance was the best. Because... He was just crazy in this movie. He was absolutely nuts in, at that part of the movie. And I thought he did a big, a great job. Also, as we know, um, as, as we know, um, what's his name? I just forgot his name. Uh, Jack Lipnick did end up firing Barton Fink. You know, he basically said, get out of my office. I never want to see you again. Get out, get out, get out of my face. Um, but he did tell him he still wants him to work for him, but he's never going to produce anything that he writes. And I think that's just tr kind of trying to show that he, um is going to be more successful in the future, but right now it's not the time for him to do movies. I think that's what that's kind of trying to show. And of course, the end of the movie, I'm very confused about, because as we know, he meets up with that girl that he's, like, obsessed with, um, you know, in that picture, and then, you know, he says, are you in pictures? And she says, don't be silly. And then the movie just ends. So I don't know what that's really trying to show, if they're going to possibly start a relationship or whatever. I don't know. Um, but we do have to talk about a couple of things to analyze in this movie. So, yeah, full spoilers right here. Okay, so as we know, there is that mosquito. Now, what does that mosquito represent? Now, that mosquito represent. Now, every time he brought up the mosquito, nobody said anything about the mosquito. Everyone's like, oh, don't be silly. There are no mosquitoes here. I think that mosquito is kind of metaphoric almost. Like, the mosquito is when things go wrong for him. Because as we know, every time something bad happened, like when Audrey died, there was a mosquito on her and he slapped it. And nobody else saw the mosquito. So, um, I'm thinking the mosquito kind of means like that is his downfall. Like, that is when things go wrong for him. So, you know, that's sort of like the big thing is what does that mosquito mean? Um... Also, I think it's also supposed to show he's going kind of crazy. Like, the movie does go to black at one point and then comes back, and I think it's just trying to show that he's going a little crazy. And then the end of the movie, it's supposed to show that he is full-on crazy now. I really don't know. By the way, this was, my, this was not my original theory. I got this from a video from the Kid of Awesome, a.k.a. Kane LaPlante, um, one of my YouTube friends. But 
he kind of gave me the idea about it, um, and I kind of do understand, um, what he's trying to say there, um, I do understand that, but overall, you know, it is a confusing movie, it is not the easiest movie to analyze, and because of that, I'm sorry if I did a really bad job with analysis, but, with, not with my analysis, but I did the best I could with that. Alright, so that's for, um, my review of uh, Barton Fink. I do recommend you guys check out this movie. It is confusing, though. I'm just going to say that right now. It is a confusing movie. However, the next movie I'm going to be agreeing to is a classic movie. It is considered one of the best movies of all time. You guys are not going to want to miss it. I'm not telling you guys what it is, but it's one of the best movies of all time. And it's quite a long movie, too. So I will see you guys for that review. Okay, bye.